Hey guys, here is my cutthroat tutorial. I actually filmed this about a year ago, but I didn't do YouTube then, so here it is now. This prosthetic I made from scratch. I sculpted the wound with monster clay. I made the mold using pinky seal silicone, and then I made the actual prosthetic using baldies and plat seal 10 with deadener to make the silicone soft like real skin and easy to pierce and sew. I will be filming some videos later on maybe this week, possibly next week, on how I sculpt using monster clay and how I make the molds and the prosthetics. Using Prose Glue, I apply one layer to the skin where the prosthetic will be. And I also apply one layer to the back of the prosthetic. So when the skin is tacky from the glue, you apply the prosthetic. Make sure you get every little bit on there. You can go around the edges with the prosade and slowly start applying it to the skin. Now this next part of my video looks a little different because I actually had to steal it off the internet. I lost it on my phone for some reason. Using acetone, you blend the edges of the prosthetic, which is the baldies part, into the skin. It blends in seamlessly with no edges. Now moving on to the fun stuff, blood. I'm using blood paste by Graftobian. I love this stuff because it really gets into the wound and it'll sit there for ages and it just looks so real. It kind of looks like coagulated blood. really meaty actually, I kind of like it. Highly recommend this blood. Then I move on to the blood gel. If you want that oozy effect, freshly cut look, I recommend using the blood gel. Now with a lot of my wounds, I usually go in with a sponge afterwards to spread the blood around just so it looks a little more messy. And if there are any edges that you can see, you won't with blood on it, will you? There's a little trick for you. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Any questions, just comment below. Be sure to be following my Instagram and Facebook at Sarah Mutal.